is another episode for the partial fraction. Now, for those of you that are commenting, we should give the partial fraction shortcuts. In any school you are watching us from, the partial fraction just only have one method, one shortcut for the CBT question. Just only one method, and you can see. So if you if you follow me very well, you are going to see the way at which we are going to just do this. Now, what you are going to do is that you are going to assume that x is zero. So anywhere we see x or x attached with anything is going to be zero. So let us see. So I will now. It's not better I cancel x out so that x will not exist in the equation. So let us start with the question. I'll cancel x out here. Anything that attached with x, you observe that the only values that remain here is 7 over 10. So now, I'll now go with the same option here. The option that has the same answer as 7 over 10 is my right answer. So let us go. By cancel this out, I cancel this out. You observe that the remaining values here is 3 over minus 5 minus 3 over minus 2. If you press this on your calculator, 3 over minus 5, the minus 3 over minus 2. You observe that the answer here is 9 over 10. Is 9 over 10, 7 over 10? It's not the same thing. So let us see. Let's come to option B. To cancel this, you cancel this. Any x or when it is attached with anything. The main value is 4 over minus 5 minus 3 over minus 2. So let us press this on the calculator. We have 4 over minus 5, then minus 3 over minus 2. If you press this, you observe that this one is 7 over 10. So this is my right answer. But people will not believe that that's the answer. So let us check. If you use your hand method to solve this, you arrive at this answer. So let us go to option C. We have 3 over, you know, we cancel this, we cancel this. So the remaining value is 3 over minus 2, then plus 5 over minus 2. So let us see. We have 3 over minus 2, the remaining values, plus 5 over minus 2. So the answer here is minus 4. So it's not the same. So we have the last option, cancel this, cancel this. So I have 12. I have 12. The remaining values here, we have 12 over minus 4, the minus 3 over minus 3. If we check it very well. So when you press this on the calculator, you have 12 over minus 4, the minus 3 over minus 3. If you press this, you have this to be what? Minus 2. And if you check, which one has the same value with the question here? We have 7 over 10 here. We have 7 over 10 here. So the correct answer is option B. And besides, I can still use another method. And the method is that, if you check very well, the only thing that can give me this denominator is x minus 5, then into brackets x minus 2. And the only two options that ask this are factors is the option A and option B. So option C cannot give me the answer and option D cannot give me the answer. Those ones that have the factors are option A and option B. So with that, if you solve this, you are going to end up having the answer to be option B. So either this. So please and please, this method can be used for any partial fraction that is CBT that has option. I'm telling you, you can use this for any CBT partial fraction. So with this, you are good to go for any partial fraction question. I believe I've been able to help you to simplify the partial fraction. Don't forget once again, you just make sure that your x is zero. So with that, you eliminate any x you see in the equation out of the question. So when we eliminate all the x, like you can see that 7 and x here are together. So the x here already affect the 7. That's why we cancel both out. So you deal with the remaining values that remain, which is 7 over 10 here. And the same thing, we cancel others out and we press the remaining numbers in the question or in the option. We end up having option B as the same value with the words, with the question. And this is the shortcut. Thank you very much for today. So please like, comment, subscribe, and tell others, share to others for them to benefit from this as well. Thank you very much. God bless you. Thank you.